Extremadura is one of the largest regions of Spain, but has one of the lowest population densities in Western Europe. Extremadura draws you away from the crowds. Here you can encounter space for nature and space for you to explore. Extremadura lies in the southwest of Spain within easy access of international airports such as Madrid, Lisbon and Seville. As the world adjusts to COVID-19, as we emerge from lockdowns, there is no better destination for people who prefer to travel independently and don't want to be part of groups. Extremadura is recognised as one of the top birding and nature tourism destinations in Europe. And we are uniquely set up to enable the visitors to explore the region for themselves and find the birds that they want to see. You can download absolutely free birding apps site guides written by local experts. You can use these to plan your holiday and use them when you're here. And for those of you who enjoy walking, want to stretch your legs, there are wonderful trails that take you through the wide diversity of landscapes in Extremadura. Forests, woodland, mountain areas, river valleys and open country. But birding in Extremadura is also accessible for those who prefer not to walk far. You can find and see well all of the sought after species from sides of the road, from tracks, from parking areas. And so for those people who prefer not to walk, you can see everything from your vehicle or close to it, safari style. All of the essential birding information is published by the Birding in Extremadura Club. This is a unique venture that brings together the tourist board and small local businesses. These have been selected and vetted for their experience working with visiting bird watchers. And all of them carry this distinctive logo kite mark. On the Birding in Extremadura website, on the app, you can find the lists of small family-run hotels and guest houses that can offer you a comfortable and safe stay, far away from bigger establishments where there'll be larger groups of people. And for those of you who want help for a day or two finding particular birds, or a full holiday, Local specialist guides can offer you private, exclusive tours, so you don't need to sign up to join a group. There are services available for photographers, including the use of exclusive hides. You can come to Extremadura to, to watch nature at any time of the year. In autumn, we receive large numbers of migrant birds from Northern Europe. Pied flycatchers, spotted flycatchers, red starts, tawny pipits, windchats. And these birds are here uh, and easy to find. They are spending time to feed up before entering North Africa and crossing the Sahara Desert for their final wintering destinations. In early autumn, in the Monfragüe National Park, the focus is the sound of the rutting red deer roaring, bellowing sounds echoing across the wooded valleys and rocky gorges at the end of the afternoon. And at dusk, these mingle with the sound of the sonorous hoot of the eagle owl announcing its territory and starting its courtship. The autumn rains transform the landscape, giving us the sensation of a second spring. Beautiful autumn flowers with evocative names like the autumn buttercup, the autumn snowflake and the serotine narcissus. I look forward to hearing the sound 
of cranes arriving, the bugling sound of skeins of cranes against an autumnal blue sky from the middle of autumn onwards. By early November, there are thousands in Extremadura, and in the winter, we have 140,000 cranes, making Extremadura the most important wintering area for this species in Europe. Winter is an amazing time for birding in Extremadura. Extremadura has a higher diversity and density of birds in winter than anywhere else in southwestern Europe. This is thanks to abundant food supplies and mild weather conditions. For example, on the stubble fields in the rice growing area, you can see flocks of thousands of Spanish sparrows. There are blue throats wintering in the ditches between the fields and winter is the best time to see that most sought-after species, the black-winged kite. On the plains, there are large numbers of golden plover and lapwing, skylarks and meadow pipits, which in turn attract wintering birds of prey like hen harrier and merlin. The birding is truly spectacular on the plains in the winter, with flocks of little bustards and sand grouse. We even have a few sightings every winter of sociable lapwing. Who knows, there may even be a regular wintering population of this globally endangered bird. Mountain birds from the north come to Extremadura to seek lower altitudes. And so there are regular wintering sites of birds like alpina centers where they can be extraordinarily tame. And sometimes wall creepers are also seen. By the end of February, the massive exodus of the cranes marks the end of winter and the start of spring. On sunny days with clear skies, thousands of cranes will depart on a perfect northeastern bearing. Just as they are leaving, there's the chance of seeing gliding across the sky at the same time, the first short-toed eagle of the year. One of the birding highlights of Extremadura is the display, the lecking of the great bustards. And this takes place in early spring. Indeed, March and early April is probably the best time of the year to be bird watching on the plains because the landscape is green, the vegetation is short, and there's less of a problem of heat haze, so the viewing conditions are excellent. A lot of the birds, like great bustards, have their peak activity at that time of the year. The short vegetation makes it easier to find birds like little bustards and sand grouse, and all of the time you are surrounded by the chorus of countless calandra larks. In Extremadura, there are 23 species of breeding birds of prey, and Monfragüe National Park is recognised as one of the top places in the world for seeing birds of prey. Here you can have extraordinary encounters with birds like the Spanish Imperial Eagle. And indeed, it has the highest breeding density of black vultures in the world. Orchids can be found amongst the myriad of wild flowers. Some species of orchids are flowering from February and different species have flowering times right through the spring. One of the noteworthy areas for finding orchids is the southern part of Extremadura in the province of Badajoz. Here you have beautiful sierras rising above the plains habitat for birds like the black wheat ear. By mid-May, all of the summer migrants have arrived, even the latest species such as the white rump swift to be found in rocky areas and the rufous bush robin. This fine bird is getting much better known now in Extremadura thanks to a lot of field work and census work in the last few years. It favours extensive olive orchards and groves where the ground is bare and the older the tree the better because the gnarled trunk provides places for them to nest. 
Their sweet but simple song can be heard as the temperatures soar into the high 30s in the middle part of the day. Late May is the end of spring and start of summer over most of Extremadura and there is a stark contrast in the landscape compared with what it was like just a few weeks earlier. On the plains the vegetation has shot up high enough even to conceal great bustards. The grass is dry and yellow and the only colour comes from the glorious cardoon thistles. This is the time to head for the cool of the mountains. The peak of birding activity in the summer is in June where in the deciduous oak woodlands on the slopes of the mountains the sound is full of the song of Western Benelli's warblers, golden orioles, and here there are honey buzzards nesting. Above the tree line, a beautiful, extensive, rolling moorland dominated by broom with the sweet and plaintive song of ortolan buntings. On high meadows full of flowers, there are throngs of butterflies and a photographer can spend hours, there'll be so much to see. Extremadura is also incredible for dragonflies. There is a fascinating mix between the African species that occur in Extremadura and species from Central Europe. Summer is the best time to find dragonflies and damselflies along the countless rivers and streams. We are prepared and organised to welcome you to Extremadura to ensure that you have a safe and enjoyable holiday here. Here in Extremadura, you can reconnect to nature, enjoy the wide diversity of landscapes, discover the space for nature and space for you to explore. Extremadura is open for business.